so lucky about that Akim. We right back at it again, man. Satan want to play. Okay? Uh, yeah, Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So kind. You, all you other heathen nations, man, y'all are going to be uh, put to death. Okay? Uh, let me get my uh, next precept real quick. And this is an emergency precept because we still are found in your hand. Like I said, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and uh, verse 33. Con, uh, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Now, when it says the children of Israel, that's speaking of the uh, northern uh, kingdom, which is which makes up is made up of what you would call you so-called uh, Mexicans, you so-called uh, Native Americans, you so-called Bra Brazilians, uh, you so-called uh, uh, yeah, you you I can you as they would put it lighter skinned uh, so-called Hispanic brothers, okay, and Judah is referring to. The southern kingdom, which will be made up of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the so-called Negro, the so-called uh, Jamaicans, and the so-called like, Haitians, okay? So, Khan, were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. So, Khan, this devil, that, like I said earlier, uh, that's why this place is called spiritually uh, Egypt and Sodom, man. Because just like in the days of in, when we were in Egypt and all of us, the southern and the northern kingdom were there, uh, Pharaoh refused to let us go to this very day, man. Spiritual Pharaoh, y'all, still refused to let us go, okay? Now, getting back on these precepts. Uh, my next precept, I'm like, oh, yeah, kind of, this is an oldie, another oldie but goodie, but it's beautiful. Uh, this is this is Revelations. We're going to go back to in the book of Revelations, chapter 2, uh, starting at verse 25, okay? But that which ye all, Salakia, Revelations chapter 2 and verse 25, but that which ye already hold fast, Salakia, Akim, Revelations chapter 2 and verse 25, I got to slow down, but that which ye have already hold fast till i come and what do we have we have uh the patience but we also have the faith man we have faith in the heavenly father yahweh and the son yahweh shai 20 verse 26 and he that overcometh meaning those of us who in those of us the hopeful elect who endure to the end and keepeth my works on to the end to him will i give power over the nations. Okay? So you heathen nations, the nations of Israel, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, they're gonna have power over you, okay? And what we how we gonna rule y'all? Here's the answer in verse 26. And just so you know, this is in red. So this is our savior, our king, Yahweh Shai speaking, okay? Our big brother, all right. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So we're going to be destroying you uh, fucking uh, heathens, man. Starting with you Edomites, you so-called white people on down. Every single last one of y'all, man. All right? Get my next preset. Uh, this is going to be the book Khan. Going back into the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 16, and it reads, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And have we not been devoured, man? All right. We've, we've, the so called Negro, the so called Latino, the so called Native American, man, we threw, all right. We've, we've been defeated, all right. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, let this devil just. And these other nations just beat us down, man. All right? 
kind. And just to uh, get a, a, a backup precept about how y'all uh, devour us, this is also in the book of Jeremiah. Uh, this time we're going to go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 25. And it reads, Pour out the, thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten of Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate, man. So kind, like I said earlier, when I say Jake's, I'm speaking of so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. That's short for Jacob, man. And it's scripture here says y'all have devoured us. What did go, Let's go here real quick. Back in uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 30 and verse 16, the uh, the first sentence, man. Therefore, all they that have devoured thee shall be devoured. Going back into Jeremiah uh, chapter 10 and verse 25. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not. Because you heathens don't know the Heavenly Father. He's never dealt with y'all. He's not dealing with y'all. The only thing that he did, he y'all are vessels created for destruction. He used y'all as this whooping stick. He chose the basest men, starting with you Edomites, to punish us, man. And that's it. And upon the families that call not on thy name, for they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. Con, the so-called Negroes, where do they stay at? Where, what is their habitation? Your habitation is where you dwell, where you live. We, The so-called Negroes dwell in the ghettos. The so-called uh, Latinos, where do they dwell at? They dwell in uh, favelas, all right? They dwell in the barrios, all right? And the so-called Native American, where do they dwell at? Shoot, they still stay on reservations, all right? The res, all right? All right? Do We have been devoured by this devil. But guess what? Going back into Jeremiah chapter 30 and... Uh, Verse 16, it says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Okay? So, kind, that's uh, self explanatory, all right? Now, uh, we're going to go here and pretty much wrap this up. This is the book of, we're going to go to the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. And let's see what it says. Be not deceived. The heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Kind. You sow, you, he the nation sowed the seed of slavery. You're going to reap that seed, Okay. Y'all going to get a taste. Y'all going to get a double, all right? Y'all going to get a double with no ch chaser, all right? So with that, I want to get my uh, ending precept. And this is going to be the book of um, going back into the Apocrypha, the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to just start at uh, verse 10, and it reads, What nation have ha, Salakia, what nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? And who is that her? That her is referring to the, uh, to the, uh, Salakia, you know what? I'm going to start at verse 8. First Maccabees chapter 2 and verse 8. Her temple is become as a man without glory. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Her infants are slain in the streets. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. Verse 10. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? Now who is that her? That her is talking about the entire nation of Israel. The so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native American. Now just to uh, prove that we're going to get, because like the scripture says, in 1 Thessalonians uh chapter uh, 5 and verse 19 to prove all things. Well, matter of fact, let's get that. 
I don't want to misquote it. Uh, Come, kind of First Thessalonians chapter five, and I believe it's nineteen. Salakia, it's verse twenty-one. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. So we're gonna prove that you uh, heathen nations all had a part of us. Okay, we're proving that now, but we're about to prove who is that her. We're gonna go to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 6 and verse 7. Salaki about that. Nope. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 2. <sighs> I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Now, when you see the daughter in its singular form, that's talking about the entire nation of Israel. If you see the daughters in its and it's plural with an S. That's speaking of the women of the tribes of the nation of Israel, okay? So, kind of going back into uh, 1 Maccabees uh, chapter 2 and verse 9. What's well, like in verse 10? What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? So, kind of, that's a question. What nation have not? Because all of you nations have had a part of us, Okay. We have been in captivity under you, all 17 of you heathen nations, at one point in time or another. All right? Verse 11. All her ornaments are taken away of a free woman. She has become a bond slave. So, Khan, you know, you heathen nations, y'all going into captivity. That's one of, this one of my favorite subjects to talk about, starting with you so-called white people who are the Edomites, along with you so-called Arabs, you so-called Africans, you so-called uh, East Indians, you, you fucking so-called Japan, Japanese people, Chinese people, y'all all going under into captivity under the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native American. So with that, hopefully this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say call Haloyim. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakwadash, Barakata, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit bless you. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth, who rule well, and who labor in this word, and who give us Akim, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures, all through the Rokakwadash. And I also want to give, once again, a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim that are out here pushing this gospel, which the word gospel means good news with all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, and you confusion the face, brothers. So with that, once again, I want to say, a ball, a ball, and shalom.